So I understand that a large portion, or at least some portion, of the FOSS community is against Twitter basically on principle, because Twitter's a corporation, they're a closed source, they're a cesspool of negativity. There are a ton of different arguments about why you shouldn't use Twitter. I understand all those arguments, and I don't care. I'm a Twitter user. I understand that there are things like Mastodon out there. I have a Mastodon account. You can follow me from the link in the video description. I don't use Mastodon all that much. I log in maybe once every three months. So I'm not active there. But I am active on Twitter. And while, like I said, I understand the arguments against it, I like being where the people are. So I use Twitter because that's where the people are. I actually have two Twitter accounts, at the LinuxCast, which I tweet about Linuxy things, and I have a personal account where I tweet about sports and other things, like random stuff, uh, mostly how pissed off I am that the Giants lost to the Dodgers last night, but putting aside my rage at the loss of my, you know, my baseball season, uh, I do enjoy Twitter a lot, so... I've been searching for some Twitter tools that I can use on Linux, and one of those things that I found is called Rainbow Stream. Now, aside from the frilly name, it's actually pretty cool. Now, everyone who knows me knows that I really, really enjoy using tools in the command line. And sometimes it's just because they allow me to have more nerd cred. They're not actually more functional than any other tool. In fact, sometimes they're less functional than like a GUI tool. And I can understand the arguments against not using them, but I like using them because again, they make me feel like I'm in the Matrix or some kind of Hollywood movie because I'm, you know, being an ultimate nerd. All that being said, Rainbow Stream is actually useful. So let's go ahead and show you what Rainbow Stream is. So here I am in a terminal emulator, this is Alacrity, and if I, I've already downloaded and installed Rainbow Stream. So all I have to do to start this is type in Rainbow Stream and hit enter. Now, on the first launch for you, it will actually open up a browser tab once you've done this and will log you into Twitter and it will require you to enter a pin in order to authenticate your account. It's not that hard. Uh, it's actually relatively simple. It opens up a browser tab gives you a code after you've logged into Twitter, you paste the code here, and you're using Rainbow Stream. Now, by itself, there's not much that it's going to do. It will eventually, as new tweets come in, show you your Twitter stream here in the terminal. I don't follow that many people with this account, so the number of tweets coming in really isn't much to show. But what I can do is type in home say 10, and what that will do is give me the last 10 tweets of my home stream or my home feed or whatever, and I can just go through and see the last 10 tweets that have been tweeted to, you know, the, uh, from people that I follow. I can also see my own last 10 tweets, so me 10, I type that, and it will actually tell me the last 10 tweets that I've tweeted out, and as you can see, I was bitching about the Giants for the last 10 tweets or, you know, sulking about the Giants in, in various ways. So those are just two things that you can do with Rainbow Stream. You can also tweet from it. So if I wanted to tweet from it, I could just do tweet. This is a tweet testing Rainbow Stream from the Linux command line. I'm a nerd. Okay, and then just hit enter, and I think that means I've tweeted this out. Now, I can actually see, if, so if I do me, 10, and I go up here, actually it shows you the most recent here at the bottom, and we see this is a tweet, testing Rainbow Stream from the Linux command line, I'm a nerd. Now, if we go to another Twitter client, we can see if it actually tweeted it out, it's not lying to us. And we can actually see right here, I actually tweeted that out. So that is Rainbow Stream. Now there's a few other things that we can do here. If we type in 
H, which is gets us to the help page, we can do several different things. So we can do H discover. That will give us help for discover commands to help discover some of the commands that we can use. So if we type in H discover, that'll tell us a few of the things that will tell that we can do. We can type in trend that will show the global trending topics. We can type in home that will show us our home timeline. As we can actually see, it actually does show us new tweets that come in. It just showed us our own tweet, but whatever. Um, we could type in me and we'll show us the, the, the latest number are my tweets. Home for the latest number of tweets for my home, which we already showed you. Um, the notification will show me my reach and notifications and mentions and who is and like will show you the profile of certain Twitter users. So that's cool. And we can also search Twitter by doing S say SF Giants and that will show us the last five tweets that have things containing the SF Giants either the word or the hashtag that's also really cool so basically you have complete access to Twitter right here from the command line now it's not the most pretty thing in the world uh, it's also not the most functional thing in the world but it's really cool now if we go back to the help page by just hitting H, we can also find out, get a list of our friends and followers. We can see the direct messages and stuff like that. If we go do certain commands as well, I'm not going to show those as obviously. And there are also things that you can customize. You can customize the theme. You can customize the ASCII art, which shows up when you first log into the application. You can go through and do a, just a ton of really cool things. That's Rainbow Stream. Honestly, what I really want to do, I haven't tried this out yet, and it might not even be possible, but I would love to be able to go through and do, is integrate this with Rofi so I could tweet from Rofi. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. This is written in Python, and I don't think that I can actually tweet from outside of the application. So that's going to be a little bit disappointing because when I was first looking for a tool like this, I was looking for something that I could kind of integrate in, integrate, integrate into Rofi, and then I go through and say, say just you know, do a, do a key binding, and then type in the tweet and hit enter, and it would tweet for me. That'd be awesome, but I don't think that this is going to end up being the solution for that because, like I said, you can't actually, as at least as far as I know, tweet from outside of the application. You actually have to be logged in because it logs you in every time you start the application. When you're outside of the application, you're not going to be logged in. So that's a little bit disappointing. But other than that, I actually kind of really like this. And I don't think that I'd ever use it to actually view a ton of like tweets and stuff like that. But I can see myself using it to, twi to tweet out stuff uh, just because it would, again, give me that nerd cred. And there's nothing more important than upping your credibility as the biggest nerd on the internet. I'm just saying. So, uh, that is Rainbow Stream. It is easy to install, so if I quit out of this, which you can you can quit out of it using Control c and we can just clear the screen here. And in order to install it, now this is in the AUR, if you're on the Arch repository, in the, if you're using an Arch-based distro, but the AUR version, for whatever reason, gave me an error. So I wouldn't install it from there. I don't know if it's not maintained or if it doesn't install a dependency or something. So what I did is just sudo pip3 install rainbow stream. Like that. And uh, obviously in order for this to work, you have to have uh, Python 3 installed and pip3 installed. Uh, most modern distros probably already have them installed but if not you can look up how to install that this will work across distros so this will work on arch ubuntu debian all those things as long as you have python and pip3 installed and then you can just hit the hit the enter key and it will install it for you and then run it for the first time like i said it will open up a tab a browser tab in your default browser and you can log into twitter and do your thing that's rainbow stream so just a real quick video. I'm sure there are several other little features of Rainbow Stream that I didn't cover because I'm just kind of getting used to it, but I think it's actually really cool. And it may not be all that useful. I don't know how much I'll actually use it going forward, but I think that just because I may not use it and I might go keep using TweetDeck because it's more useful doesn't mean that, you know, I won't log into it from time to time just to tweet to be 
more cool than I already am. So, so that is it for me this video. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is Fun 2, Patrick L., Marcus, Meglin, Jackson, Nathan Tool, Steve A., Mitchell, Art Center, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, and the BSDs Rock. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.